Take a look at this spectacular snake. Such incredible colors. And really quite beautiful. I was finally able to find one. The elusive yet stunning Taiwan Tiger Killback. Or Taiwan Chilianshu Rhabdophis Tigrinus Formosanus. These snakes live in high mountainous areas, especially near streams and ponds. So I searched along mountain trails, enchanted forests, and waterfalls. Then at last, here it is, hunting in a roadside ditch and among someone's lovely hydrangea flowers at the edge of the village. Tiger killback. What an incredible sight to see it moving among the blooms like that. And somehow kind of out of place. It soon goes back down onto its log. It's quite the privilege to be able to observe it out hunting. They prey mainly on frogs and toads, as well as the occasional fish. So a swampy pond like this is a perfect spot for it. It moves silently through the grass, right towards where I'm sitting. So this, this is a super exciting find. The Taiwan tiger killback. And the cool thing is, um, this is a subspecies of the first snake that I ever found in my life. The Korean tiger killback. That was about 15 years ago back in South Korea. A younger subspecies of me, too. The Taiwan subspecies has slightly different markings, such as the bright yellow band at the base of its head. This bright yellow, as well as the vibrant orange contrasting against black, makes these snakes absolutely stunning. Arguably the most beautiful snake in Taiwan. However, these pretty colors are not just for good looks. The bright colors serve to warn potential predators of the snake's toxic defenses. So these snakes are both venomous and poisonous, which makes them unique. And you can see those bright orange and yellow markings. Uh, a clear warning that they are poisonous. That's because they eat toads that are poisonous and they're able to extract some of the poison from the toads they eat. Just to distinguish venom from poison, venom is a toxin that is injected by a bite or sting directly into the body, whereas poison is a toxin that is harmful if ingested or touched. Another trait you can see here is the flattening out of the neck as a defensive display. So there's this defensive display. This neck's kind of spread out. And you can see it there. It kind of flattens its neck out a little bit like a cobra. Really cool. Although bites from the species have led to a couple of recorded fatalities, this Taiwan subspecies venom is relatively unknown, but believed to be very mild. So generally not dangerous. So I would strongly advise not to try it out. Otherwise, they're known to be very mild-mannered, and like most snakes, have no interest in biting or attacking. Like all snakes, they just want space to do their own thing. Even though I have disturbed this snake in order to share its beauty with you all, it still remains fairly calm as it moves about. I must say, I'm quite surprised by its tendency to climb, and I'm quite curious what it was hunting or doing amongst the flowers. I'd love to hear from anyone who knows more about this species. Please leave a comment. Anyway, let's let it back to whatever it was hunting. Away it goes about its day. What an incredible counter this has been, and I'm so glad to be able to share it with you all. I hope you enjoyed and appreciated this moment. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time with the next amazing creature.